probably record. Here goes nothing. Sound check. One, two. One, two, one, two. I think we fixed the microphone. <laughs> it's still kind of facing Mika, but I'm loud, too, so hopefully that works. No, it faces. It goes to the middle. I, I think we're good. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Alex Sigrist, and I'm here with another The Feel Good Talk Show, coming to you every Sunday because we just want to feel good. And for those of you who were here on Friday, it was a little bit of a downer episode, so we're going to bring you back up. And to help me do that is You Know Who, Mika! That's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just chilling, having fun. I'm making sure the mic doesn't run away from me this time again. Stay. It's like a dog. Sit. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Stay. Don't move. Uh, and, and we're just going to feel good today. And we were talking about how we could feel good. Uh, fortunately and unfortunately because of timing, um, Mika recently just hosted somebody yes. here in Korea. And I wasn't able to hang out as much as I wish I could have. Got to meet his friend. From to the studio party. <laughs> so fun. Uh, but we're going to talk about that. Bringing people into your home when you're in a different country or flip perspective. Like if you're the guest coming to, let's say, us in Korea, you know, how, how can you do the right things to make sure you're not overburdening us? But we love it, by the way. Like, let's start from the basics. How many friends have you had come to Korea? Four. Four. You can count it on just one hand. <laughs> oh yeah, like I remember exactly how many, right? I, because like I have a huge friend circle. Yeah. And I really, really take it personally that none of you guys. Right. Get your really butt back here. What are you doing? Really? Because, like there's misconceptions about Korea. Like many yeah. of my friends think like it's really dangerous here. Yeah. Like because of the situation with North Korea, and I'm trying to tell them like really it's harmless. I, I don't know where this is coming from. Uh, I, I think there's a couple of reasons my friends don't come out. Number one, they're starting lives, families, mm, married, all true. that stuff. That's one. Uh, financially, you can't just pick up. It's hard to cross the globe when you have a job and you know that two mm. of the days will be spent traveling and four of the days will be spent getting over jet lag and you have three days of enjoyment left or whatever. That's tough. Mm, that's true. Uh, but also, I think there's one thing that Korea had been missing for a long time, and that's the wow factor. The wow factor? Like right now, the wow factor is Korea's the it culture, right? But uh, you know why you're going to Paris. Mm. You know exactly why you're going to Paris. Uh, you know, like I don't have to say it, right? You know why you're going to New York City. You That's know true. why you're going to Tokyo even. Um, but a lot of people didn't know why they would come to Korea because Korea, in my opinion, has a lot of really good things, but they missed the one thing the wow factor. And and for some people, I know you watching out there saying, nah, wait, wait, wait. There is a wow factor if you love K-pop, if you love Korean dramas, or you're super into the culture. Um, but it's not like a real general wow factor, right? right like, because like the, all the other you mentioned, yeah. they have a wow factor everybody knows. It's, it's a thing or a place or a, mm. a tower or something, right? That you can see. And I think that is kind of the big thing that Korea... It's hard to convince a friend to come out. Like, let's convince our friends that this is. We're gonna sell it to you right now. Come out to Korea. Ready? <laughs> this Bring is, it on. It's actually difficult. It's like considering, like, my friend Martin was here now for one week. Yeah. And like, I was like overexcited. Yeah. To share my, how you say, Korea with him. Oh yeah, yeah. But he, the thing is, he was not so, how you say, receptive, or I say, he was not so open to receive. Before like he came here? No, no. While he, he was here. He was here. Ah. Because like all the Korean food I love, and I think like I am already picky because like yeah. for me, for example, seafood is already on the X list, right? <laughs> yeah. So I think already I'm missing out half of the Korean food. Yeah. But he was like even pickier than me. Really? Oh, yeah, so that's like, true. For example, I love everything around kimchi, right? Yeah. He doesn't like kimchi. Oh. So like... I was like, I want to share with you my kimchi favorite soup. food, right? Like kimchi jjigae, kimchi, uh, kimchi yeah. chon, like but kimchi bokkeumbap, everything, right? None. Eggs. No kimchi. Then I thought like a classic. I even wanted to do a mukbang video with him on that. Just going to a samgyeopsal place. Oh. Right? Samgyeopsal. Korean classic. <laughs> you can't miss. There's a wow factor in samgyeopsal if you haven't had the experience. General, I guess food is the wow factor, right? But samgyeopsal. It's like one on one. You can't do anything wrong. It was like he didn't like samgyeopsal. He doesn't like the fatty parts ah. of the meat. And then ah. also dakgalbi. You know, it's like we have to agree. <sighs> dakgalbi is like the foreigners 
most favorite dish in Korea. He didn't like it was too spicy. He didn't like the sauce so much. It's like, it's like oh, I, oh my god! I struggle a little bit because I was enjoying it for myself. And yeah, I could yeah. see he was not. He tried hard. Yeah, he tried like to share my enthusiasm, but I could see in his face he was not totally satisfied. Ah, oh. dang it! You were supposed to convince this. Was, we were about to convince people to come to Korea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but not everybody is open to that, right? Uh, okay, so. You kind of helped me put some thoughts in my mm. mind uh, how to sell it. Uh, number one, don't come to Korea if there's a couple things like you can't stand the food or something like that. But the the wow factors that we don't that aren't this, Paris has the Eiffel Tower, right? Mm. It has a thing that can like the, this romantic city. But we all think of the Eiffel Tower. Maybe you think of the cathedrals. Uh, but there's images you have. The thing about it with the wow factors in Korea is there's no big image. Like the the tower, the Lotte Tower isn't. No, it's not. It's cool, sense. but it doesn't remind people of what I think is the best part. Mm. And um, besides, you know, if you take people out of the equation, food culture, which I guess is people, but mm. food culture in Korea is absolutely amazing to me. The, the sharing of food, the the barbecuing, the spiciness, the samgyeopsal, the picnics on the Han River, going to the uh, the picnics on the on the beach when you're at in Busan, mm. you know, having a makgeolli at the top of a mountain, going out and, and doing seafood al along the ocean shore or something like that. Like, there are so many awesome things about the food culture and being around. Makgeolli houses. Oh, my gosh. Just like the, you can always drink and like cheers and it's very social to drink. It's not like shot and you can have five shots and you're poof. But... Like, see, I got excited, right? Food's yeah, exciting. I, Food's exciting. I share the excitement. I guess this is why we are here, right? Like, yeah. we love to live in Korea. So for us, it's it's easy, right? Like, for us, it's understandable. But for him, like, all the friends before, yeah. they were, like, more excited, right? Like, they were, they shared my excitement for food. Yeah. Like, everybody had their own favorites, but everybody was swinging along. And he was my first mm. friend who came really, he came here because of me. He wanted to spend uh, time with me, right? Yeah, yeah. It was like, Korea is not on his, he has to see, on his bucket list, Interesting, right? Interesting, yeah. He came really here before because of me. Mm -hmm. But he was asking me to eat noodles. <laughs> it's like, ah, it's like yeah. we don't do so much noodles here, right? Yeah, yeah. And I had the feeling like he's mixing it up, like, you know, comparing with right. Thailand or something. Uh, I struggled a little bit. Even like, we went to a baseball game. Oh, it was yeah. Like, Food culture there is great. I was like, I wasn't in a baseball game also for seven years. So I had so much fun. We cheered like for the Busan Giants. Lotte. Yay. <laughs> they, <laughs> lost. they lost. They oh. lost, unfortunately. But I had a really great time. And I could feel like he enjoyed it the first 10, 15 minutes. And then I was like, oh. uh, <laughs> uh, Yeah. You I, know, there's a, a thing. Well, Don't what? sell the unsellable, right? How do you say like, mm. if you... If he doesn't like, this is something I realized. I, I guess perhaps I tried too hard. Yeah. Because like at the end he came here because of me, and I tried to make him like the culture, take him make, to temples, make him like it, right? And some people, I should have just spent just more easygoing time with him. I guess. Yeah. This was it's a good tip out there for anyone who's about to host somebody who's coming over. Yeah. Don't know. force people for stuff. I guess. Yeah. Let them fall in love with it in general. In their own speed. Yeah. So I, I think maybe the title of this video should be something like. I'm sorry, I carried it away, right? No, it's great. No, no, <laughs> it's perfect. Sell. Why you should come to, why you should visit your friends in Korea. Why you should, mm. you know, why we should host people in Korea. Something like that. Because it, it's a tough sell mm. uh, for people who don't like certain things. If you don't love meat, it's a tougher sell. If you don't like drinking culture, it's a tougher sell. Not everyone here drinks, but uh, then you got to like something else. If you don't like K-pop, meat, mm. and drinking, or dramas... Then whoa. <laughs> then whoa. Uh, so don't sell it to... Uh, it's like... Like, I'm not going to sell my grandmother a motorcycle. It's like, Mom, I, Grandma, I love motorcycles. They're awesome. They're cool. They make you strong. They make you... Grandma, they're, you're going to love it. Perhaps you will. <laughs> I mean, oh, man. That would be, that'd be awesome. That would be pretty dope. Uh, yeah, but if some people... It's not for everyone. Mm. And if they do come, they're coming for you sometimes. So remember that. And that's good advice, actually. Uh, but... What, now we got people coming. In. I think I've had maybe, maybe four, maybe. Four. 
One guy's a, a traveler. This guy, uh, Mike, he's in one of my videos. I think he's in my other channel. There's like a, the Olympics video. It's pretty awesome, pretty fun. I don't know, I know who it is. Yep, yep. Where the, the, the thing was on fire, right? Oh, yeah, the restaurant caught on fire. That was so cool. And that <laughs> so was, cool. I mean, it was horrible. But like, but he was able, to, like, that happened. There was a, our restaurant caught on fire, like, whoo, like it was a barbecue restaurant. And that he wasn't phased. About, he didn't hate Korea mm -hmm. after that moment, you know. If you're someone who doesn't like the country you're going to and something like that happens, you're going to hate that, you know. It's going to ruin your rest of your trip. We had fun. We got to see uh, Sean White win the gold medal for uh, U.S. snowboarding. It was fun. I've only had a few people come. When they come, it is a little bit difficult, though, uh, because you're mixing your – they're on vacation. Mm. You had work still piled up, or did you finish yeah, your work? No. No. Oh, piled up. Thanks for coming over. <laughs> uh, it piles up too, and it becomes a little bit difficult. But also referring like to the to the previous video, right? Like talking about stress and burnout. Oh right? yeah. Like for me, I was already like so much in my work that I was like kind of thankful he put me out. Ah. Oh. So like I was forced, like in a good way, right? Yeah, yeah. I was forced to spend time with him, so I really needed to put down the work, and it also helped me like just to reset. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so where were my friends at when yeah. I burn out? Where were you guys at? <laughs> They're watching, right? <laughs> uh, no, I was at their wedding. Actually, I was at my friend's <laughs> wedding in, in America, so that's where they were at, uh, including Mike. Mike was there too, not his wedding. But it's tough because uh, for me, I, I sometimes get stressed when you have to take people everywhere, but I do love it. I do enjoy, like you said, bringing people to my favorite restaurants. And I think I don't, I wouldn't recommend that anyone gets discouraged by Mika's story. Like I still think you should take them to your favorite places because it's showing them a part of you. And you know, like I wanna know what my friends like in different countries, but I wanna be with them, but that's how you learn about mm -hmm. that person. Like, yo, this guy really likes freaking Doc Galby. Or is a European that likes baseball? WTF, man, <laughs> like for real. But this is what, I now know a little bit more about Mika because of this trip. Mm. I think that's pretty cool to still yeah. just. I guess he also learned something new. Because yeah. like he also couldn't really understand like my decision why I moved to Korea. Ah. So I hope perhaps he understands it a little bit better. Yeah. Do you? I don't know. I don't think. If you're out there, leave a, <laughs> <laughs> leave a comment below. Uh, he I had has no social media, so he's really bad with yeah. this. He has no Facebook, no Instagram, nothing. Oh. His wife will perhaps tell. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do this then. Now that you're here, uh, what are you and I going to take our friends to when they come to Korea? I'm going to say if you come here with enough time, mm. I'm taking you to either Busan, the southern coast, or I'm taking you to the east coast, Gangneung or Yangyang. White okay. sandy beaches, I want to get them out near the ocean, especially if, if they like seafood, if if they don't. Mm, then it's harder. <laughs> a little bit harder. But this is like when you have more time, right? More time. Less time, though. I'm taking them to Dak Galbi. I don't care what they say. Mm. I'm putting cheese all over that, getting that rice in there, making it so, so good. And you're going to like it. <laughs> How can you not like that? <laughs> like, I was like so sure. It's like a penalty shot, right? Like a put, uh, and I was like, I can't miss. There's even no, I say, no guard yeah. in the in the in the how you say in the goal. Yeah. Like this is did you, easy uh, score. Did you take him to a Nordebang? No, I didn't do that. Oh, the luxury Nordebang. <laughs> That's like a top one right there. Yeah. The singing when you can see people in the street. Oh man. Uh, I don't think he likes singing. So. No. <laughs> uh. The picnic, but yeah, the picnic, that pic was cool. Yeah, we did picnic. Picnic on the Han River is always a good choice. How was that? That was fun. Yeah? Yeah. We hanged out with, like, with Eden. Yeah. So, and, yeah, this was a fun afternoon. Okay. We got drunk pretty because, like, we drink whiskey first, and he brought along, yeah, and then yeah. we got drunk really with soju. Oh. Especially him. <laughs> oh. Nice. Which soju? Regular? I guess flavored? It's the regular one. No, regular one. Sure. I would I would have my friends tr taste the flavored sojus. Mm -hmm. To do the limon, the lemon one, or yuja, the yuja mm -hmm. one. That's a good one. Also, like for Austrians, hard to sell because like the uh, Korean drinks are softer. Oh. So you know, it's like we also felt like ah, oh, soju is not so strong. Did you take him to get an adios? What is an adios? An adios, um, uh, melon farmer. No. 
It's the blue drink. <laughs> the, the, the blue it, drinks. Those blue drinks are dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything with, like, green drinks. Yeah. yeah Did you take him to any non-Korean? Like, we have a favorite, like, Indian restaurant. Yeah, did you take him to an Indian restaurant? Did you take him to Itaewon? Ah, uh, yeah, we were in Itaewon, in Sadong. What did you do in, in Itaewon? Like in ah uh, Itaewon, we wasn't. Uh. We didn't go to Itaewon. I'm sorry, but the thing like we have um, a common thing we like to do like when we're both stressed out or yeah. we need to talk out, we always go to uh, Burger King. Like, <laughs> we never do usually, but we go there and we just eat a burger and Chill. chat about life. And we did this basically twice here. Oh, man. So I feel a little bit bad. Like, you come to Korea, we still no, do Burger King. Cool. At least cool. he ate He ate a bulgogi burger. <laughs> so yeah. As Korean as it got. Yeah. That is, that's, it's on its way. It's on its way. Uh, we, if you come to Korea, I think, as long as you're open to trying those things, I think that's the important thing. Because I think you, you're you not going to love every... Like, I don't love every country. I don't want to live in 192 different countries. No. I probably want to live in 20 of them, maybe 30 even. It'd be pretty cool to try it. But you can't expect every friend to come here and love every country. Yeah. But you got to jump in there and try it. So at least he did try the Duck Galbi. He tried. Went to the baseball game. He did. <laughs> uh, he did. And uh, hopefully, this is my shout out now to all my friends. If you come out here, even if I'm busy, man, I clear my schedule. We are doing whatever we have to do to have fun. And if you are someone who would like Korean culture, I will make sure you don't miss any of it. That's my guarantee. That's my promise on this one. So so everybody who watches the video can take on this guarantee? Well, I mean, <laughs> wait. I, no, that's... Am I looking like... <laughs> my, my close friends. Like, yeah, I, okay. I, I don't host... Sure. Um, no offense to anyone watching out there. I don't host strangers in my house. Uh, willing to... I've met someone who's come out uh, who's been a YouTube fan. More of SETI. Um, but he came out. We got Doc uh, Galbi together. Mm. That was pretty cool. But, so, you know, I'm okay with that. But I'm not going to be like, man, 15 people like, oh, okay. Alex said it's free lodging in his place <laughs> out in Korea, yeah. so we're all coming. No. Because it's also, <sighs> like, inconvenient, even if it's your very close friends, right? Like, it's, it, because it, yeah. here, usually, when I go back to Austria, I sleep in their place, right? Like, in my yeah, friend's yeah. place. And... As a guest, you don't feel it so much, right? No. But of course, like, he was here, and he slept at my place, and I felt, like, of course I was happy he was there, right? Yeah, yeah. But you, how you say, you have a guest. Mm. It's a little bit more, in, how you say, a little bit inconvenient yeah. for your daily life, right? Yeah. I think what you can do to get over that is to, in Korea, have them, or have you, like, go out and find a jimjabang, one of those saunas, yeah. for a night. It, it, it like, would take the stress off, off the people that are hosting you. So one night there or one night at an Airbnb or one night do a trip out to the countryside mm -hmm. or stay with your parents if you're going back to, like, mm -hmm. we're going back to our hometown. Um, I think that's a great way to really be generous to your host. Mm -hmm. One night, that's it. Let us sleep in our bed. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, any last words you want to throw out there? This is definitely more of a talk show we kind yeah. of talk. I like this. A little more of a podcasty. <laughs> podcasty. Podcasty. Yeah, Hopefully. we got carried away from the original, right? Like what was the original one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> something got about carried away. hosting people and how to be good guests and whatever. Nah, it's a, something about Korea. We love you guys. What's up? You know, they know what to do. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget. <laughs> Everyone's going to remember this one. This is the hashtag, feed the narcissism. And by doing that, you help me feel better about myself. I don't know if that. I don't know how that works, really. I, I don't know either. But share the video, right? Like, or uh, tell your friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, people don't share as much anymore, like by reposting. Right? But tell your friends about it. Be like, this is these dudes that do stuff out in Korea, but you would never know because they never leave their studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, recommend the channel a little bit. Like, post it somewhere. You know, you have social media. Post a Insta story. Recommend ah. the thing. Promote. My salesman. <laughs> you will treat me lunch now. Yeah, so, I will actually. Okay. <laughs> uh, crap. Uh, and leave a comment too about your experiences traveling yes. and visiting your friends abroad. I don't. That's the one thing I regret, and I still regret because I have friends in Vietnam. I have friends in. I visited someone in Japan. I, I went saw someone there. You know, I have friends around the world because I've met them in these international settings here that I haven't gone to. You know, uh, Colombia. I haven't been able to see my friends in Europe, uh, and, and take advantage of that. So if you have a place you want to visit, or Korea, let us know in the comment section below.
Tell yeah. us if you've had friends over, or if you're someone who lives in a in foreign Korea. country and your friends come over, how do you deal with that? Or when you live in Korea, what do you think? People who visit Korea has to see. Oh, yeah, I'm that's curious. a great I, one. I want to make a, a little list. I want to improve. Look, you have no excuse not to comment on this video. We've given you a ton of questions. <laughs> yeah. One of those has to be one that you can respond to down below. I'm not angry. I, I love you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm done with the burnout. I told you that already. Are you really done? Not done, done. Shut up! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, guys. This was Alex Sigrist. This was Mika. It's as real as it gets. This was the Feel Good Talk Show, and we will see you next time. Goodbye. Ha, say, yo. Baby. What's up? Woo! Hopefully that worked. Hopefully sure. you guys are having fun. It's Sunday night. What are you guys doing up still? Go to bed. <laughs> it's late. Or good morning, America. I don't know who's, who's watching this one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. What movie? I, I was thinking this is, sounds is very it? familiar. And if I don't see you later, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> ah! Something like that. This was with Jim Carrey. Mr. Truman! Yeah, the Truman, Truman Show. Show. Come on, man. <laughs> you nearly got me on this one. <laughs> <laughs>